Stephanie? Stephanie! Hey, 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 wake up, Stephanie. Stephanie, wake up, wake up, wake up. Daryl! Daryl! What do you mean he wants us to come in on Saturday? If he wants us to work on the weekends, he's gonna have to pay us more. What? You can tell Mr. Eichel to take his quotas and shove them right up his... Just, just tell him I'll be there on Saturday. Uh, yes, hello, welcome to In-N-Out. What can I get for you guys? Um, I'll get two double cheeseburgers, animal style with extra cheese, please. Oh, and two chocolate shakes. Chocolate shakes. Okay, that's two double doubles, animal style, with extra cheese and two chocolate shakes. Excellent. Awesome. Will that complete your order? Hold on a sec. Hey, hon, did you want anything to eat? Oh, um, can I get a double double with extra cheese? Whoa, 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 whoa. On second thought, honey, you can't be eating here. You've been packing on a lot of weight lately. But I love In-N-Out. It's my favorite spot. I know, I get it. Let's be honest, though, sweetheart. You've been getting fat. It's not a good look on a young lady. You gotta get skinny if you wanna get married. Do you guys have any salads? Um, salads, no sir. We only do hamburgers here. Um, uh, we do have lettuce wraps if you wanna try one of those. Okay, we'll have one of those. No meat, no cheese. Okay, so I got a lettuce wrap with no meat, no cheese, no bun. You just want tomato and onions inside? That'd be perfect. Okay, uh, I'll put that down for you guys. Uh, that'll be 1483. I'll see you guys at the next one. Oh my god, <laughs> so fucking tasty. This is like the best. Mmm. 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 Like the juiciest burger here. I mean, I got juice running all the way down to my elbow on this thing. Mmm. Mmm. What's the matter? You're not enjoying your burger? Um, this isn't really a burger. It's just lettuce, tomato, and onions. That's right, it's gonna stay that way until you learn to lose some weight. Dad, I, I'm not even that big. Stephanie, men notice these things, all right? Would you rather have a burger or a husband? A burger. <laughs> Nonsense, you're not even hungry. You're just bored. Bored? Yeah, if you were hungry, that lettuce and tomatoes would look pretty good right about now. <sighs> yeah, you're right, Dad. I'm not hungry. Just bored, that's all. Listen, I know you think I'm being harsh on you, but I'm doing this because I love you, all right? Besides, with the extra weight you have on you, we could probably put you on nothing but water and multivitamins for at least six months. I had a friend who did it for like a year. I mean, he would never a thing, he was in health. I mean, it was crazy. He goes off, he does all his other things, but honestly, in the end, it worked out for him. He didn't know what he was doing. It was crazy. Do you hear what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Stop eating. Lose weight. I'm fat. Got it. I'm glad you understand, sweetheart. <sighs> Pick this up for me, will you please? Stephanie had hit her breaking point. Her dad's abusive language towards her had been building up and she had finally had enough. At such a young age, a lot of her self-worth came from her father's words towards her. She began to have a distorted image of herself and started forcing herself to throw up as a way to lose weight. Society's pressure to look thin and have this picture-perfect body had really taken a toll on her. Hi, you're Stephanie, right? 
Oh yeah, you're Tiffany, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, my dad mentioned you guys were going on a date. He's still downstairs getting ready, but please, come in. Thank you. Wow, I love your guys' place. Will you be joining us for dinner? Mm, I don't think so. Why? Um, I'm kind of on a diet right now. A diet? You're too skinny to be on a diet. Oh, Tiffany, <laughs> you're early. Oh, should I leave then? Oh, no, 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 that's <laughs> all right. I said I finished getting ready. Oh, our reservations are until 8, so okay. we have a little bit of time. So you met my daughter. She's gorgeous. Right. Um, are we still having drinks in the rooftop? You betcha. <laughs> hey, if you change your mind about dinner, we'll be right upstairs, and I want to hear all of your dad's secrets. <laughs> After you. Thank you. <laughs> So what is this I hear about your daughter being on a diet? Oh, well she's been putting on a lot of weight as of late. I just don't want her to get fat. Those are some harsh words. You didn't tell her though. Of course I did. I want to be as direct as possible. You told her she's fat? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Well, there's nicer ways to talk to a girl. Why well, would I want to be nice when I can be honest? I mean, that's kind of my motto. <laughs> well, for starters, it's your daughter, Daryl. And like, men and women don't communicate in the same way. Like, we're girls, we have emotions, you understand? Um, hey, can I use your restroom? Oh, sure. You want me to walk no, you No, 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 no. You stay here and I'll be right back, okay? All right. Será cabrón ni que él fuera aquí un pibón o algo. Vamos, es que no voy a quedar con él en ningún momento. Es que, o sea, hay que ser estúpido. Vamos, es que no. Stephanie? Stephanie! Hey, 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 wake up. Stephanie? Stephanie, wake up, wake up, wake up. Daryl! Daryl! Oh my god. What's wrong? What's wrong? I don't know. <laughs> Stephanie had developed a bulimic habit in order to try to lose weight. It got so bad that it began to burn her organs from the inside out. She was dehydrated, had low blood pressure, and an irregular heart rate that caused her to faint that day. Stephanie almost lost her life that day. But luckily, they were able to get her to the hospital just in time. After a couple of days at the hospital, Stephanie was back home and bedridden until she felt better. Hey, baby. You feeling better? I want to apologize for a lot of things, okay? I'm not perfect. And with your mom gone, it's been really hard for me trying to figure out how to raise a girl. It's not the same as boys. I learned that the hard way. I realize I've been very discouraging towards you and your body. And no excuses, okay? I messed up big time, all right? I want you to know that your dad loves you no matter what you look like. It doesn't matter to me anymore, okay? Honey, the only thing that matters to me is that you're alive and you're healthy and that I get to kiss you every night before you go to bed. I love you, baby. I love you too, Dad. Come here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's life lesson with Luis. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you get notified every time we release a new video. And as always, make sure to share this with someone that you love.